Well, it looks to be like it's starting to calm out, calm down outside. Uh, it's still quite cloud cover. I see the sun's trying to peek out. Yeah, we're caught in a the tip of a winter storm, so I'm staying indoors today. And I will be making roasted chickpeas. Quick, easy, fun recipe, delicious. Even Dante loves them. <laughs> so stay tuned. Well, right now I'm going to set my oven back to 300 degrees. Get that going. And then start on these chickpeas. It's a really easy recipe to put together. Quick, not a lot of time, it takes about an hour. Okay, so here I've got about, I've got three cups of uh, chickpeas that I boiled, uh, soaked and boiled uh, yesterday and, uh, had, and had drained them this morning. Uh, so they're cooled sufficiently, of course, overnight. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, take this over here and take my three cups and pour it in a bowl. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some olive oil because you need to introduce some sort of oil to help with the roasting process. So most recipes call for oh, anywhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon. Me, I'm just going to drizzle. I don't, uh, don't really have a recipe, but if you want, uh, put in uh, about, I'd say about a tablespoon of olive oil and give it a mix. Now with this, what you can do is you can just add, you know, any type of uh, sea salt. You can add garlic salt, onion salt, onion powder, whatever. Whatever tickles your fancy. Pepper, cayenne if you want spicy. Me, what I'm going to do is I made up in a previous video, I made up uh, a batch of my own seasoning salt, plus I've got my everything bagel seasoning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle everything bagel, season, uh, sesame seeds and all. That's, I'd say about a tablespoon, about two tablespoons worth, and I'm going to give it a mix. Make sure it's well blended. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it over a sheet, a cookie sheet, of course, making sure I scrape all this out. And this has got the poppy seeds, sesame seeds, everything in, in here, okay? I'm not omitting any of it. I just took my, my dry seasoning mix, and like I said, it's a very versatile, very versatile um, spice mix that I, I make up. Now what you're going to do here is you are going to spread it out evenly as much as possible over the cookie sheet so that nothing's really lying on top of each other. Sometimes though, you know, you can't be avoided, but you just grab a small cookie sheet if you feel like it's too small to get a bigger one. And you're just gonna let it sit. And then once your oven is ready, you're gonna pop it in a 300 degree oven for about 60 minutes. But between uh, probably about every 30 minutes or so, you, you're gonna wanna stir them up. Now what I like to do too, just, in, just to add a little bit more flavoring, is I'll add a little bit, of, little bit of salt, not much. Just a little bit to give it that little extra oomph. And then just pop it in the oven. These are smelling fantastic. Still not yet quite done because I want them to brown a little bit more. Okay, they're out of the oven and they're gonna cool. And as they cool, like you can determine how long you wanna you wanna cook these for. You can either leave them. with a, a little bit of softness, 
or you can cook them longer like I did. I left these in for about an hour and a half so that they're, when they cool down, they'll be a little bit more crunchy and, and not as chewy, but it just depends on how you like them. So give it a try. It's really good. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.